So I've been absolutely hooked on Core Keeper since I picked it up. I've sunk a considerable amount of hours into the game, and I think it's safe to say that it's been a massive hit. But where's the game going? What's coming in future updates? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So Core Keeper is currently in early access, like many other games. We've had a few small patches, but let's take a look at the roadmap and see what we have to look forward to. Firstly, we have update one, where we'll see the introduction of the Sunken Sea. This will obviously include a new biome, along with new mechanics and content. Nothing specific added, but it's very intriguing. If we combine this with the boats mentioned in the nice to haves, oh, spoiler alert, this kind of gives me Valheim vibes, to be honest. Just imagine like little islands hidden away within the sunken sea. And the only way to access these islands is to use a boat. Right now, we can just use bridges to travel over waters and canyons, but I'm kind of hoping this won't be possible with this update, but who knows? Oh, and the sea creatures you might encounter, like a serpent or something. That'd be awesome. I could totally see a serpent in the future, even as a boss. Oh man, I need to replay Valheim at some point. For update two, they only mention a desert biome. I could see something like sandstone becoming a usable building block, along with many other different types of sand. Maybe even quicksand that slows you down? Similar to how mold works, I guess. That'd be cool. As for mobs, I don't know, perhaps snakes and scorpions? And update 3 mentions a crystal biome. I honestly have no idea about this one. Though perhaps it will take some inspiration from the Terraria mod. Crist... 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 Crist yeah, that one. Shut up, leave me alone. Before we jump into the nice-to-haves, do you know what else is nice to have? A like on this video. It would help me out a bunch and would be much appreciated. Thank you. So, as for the nice-to-haves, we have boats already mentioned, which I'm pretty sure is already coming. Friendly animals, whether that will be little critters as pets or even mounts. I don't know, hopefully both. Emotes to spam your friends. More character customization options. Nothing really to add there. More unique locations, so I assume the random buildings and villages you come across, that'd be cool. More unique items. Dedicated servers, which are currently in progress, so that's great to hear. It'd be good to have a server running and not have to rely on a friend to be online and boot up their world. Or even a community server for the channel, ooh. Additional localizations, not really sure on that. And lastly, this is a fantastic one, porting to consoles. They've already announced that Core Keeper has been verified with Steam Deck, so that's a massive plus to Steam Deck owners. And the fact that it's coming to console means the game opens up to so many more players. I imagine it'd be great on the Switch. So that's everything covered for the Core Keeper roadmap. Let me know what you're excited for and what you'd like to see in the game. Not sure what to watch next? Well, YouTube is recommending this one, so why not give it a go? Might like it. Might not. Mm.